about point four, which is paragraph 617 in answer to Joe. Edinger calls this the most important sentence in this book. Okay, now I have to say that this is the most important sentence in this book for an analyst. Okay, it's not the most important sen sentence in the book to me from the point of feminism, from the point of political psychology or anything else, but it is from the point of uh, private analysis of the individual, it's the most important sentence, which is what Edinger was talking about. So, he, so here's the sentence. Whoever knows God has an effect on him. Okay. I don't think we can overestimate what a revolutionary and profound fact and discovery is expressed by this simple sentence. I think this is how psychotherapy works. That act of having been seen has an effect. Naturally, it is our task to communicate verbally what we see to the patient, but even in the absence of an explicit communication, the having been seen acts on the unconscious of the patient. Okay, so, um, and then he says, uh, I think this insight is of such funda fundamental importance to the collective that this single sentence is enough to create a whole new eon, the Jungian eon. Okay, so let me read it once more. Whoever knows God has an effect on him. And so what he's saying is that we, if we know, if we understand what God really is, and God is not out there, God is here, God is here. And, and so if you see that, if you understand that point, then you have to pay attention to the psychological dispensation of God okay? because it's within you. God, it, the metaphysical God is really within you. It's not out there. Okay. I mean, so the analyst sees, God, uh, sees, the, sees the patient and the patient is, uh, makes the jump between that seeing and their ability to see God in themselves. Is that what right. You're right. Okay, and that and and that's the point that Edinger made at the beginning of I think it was the individuation lecture, where he said there's no patient over thirty five that has been um, benefited by psychotherapy that what that was benefited without having the experience of the greater personality. Okay, we'll call it God. Okay. Um, and and so if you don't have a, if you don't have a re appreciation for the religious aspect of this, then a psychotherapist cannot help you. I mean, maybe they can drug you. Okay. If they're not a union, maybe they can drug you. A union won't drug you. Okay. But if if they're a union, they're not going to be cured. I mean, the point is, in the end, that a neurosis is never cured. Okay. A neurosis is simply outgrown. Okay. You, you can't you can't get away from the opposites. The opposites are always there. But you grow bigger than the opposites. The transcendent position. Pardon? The transcendent position. The transcendent position, and and so it's the the Job archetype, which is contest, defeat, lamentation, and rebirth, and you're always reborn into something bigger, that you know, or at least different. You're, you're reborn theoretically into something bigger and yeah you no longer care about whatever that well it's not gone 
it's uh, it's th still there in your psyche. I noticed in my experience that it's even hard to remember what it was after a while. Yeah.